Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. Cleveland Heights police are still looking for suspects connected to a shooting at a popular park. Investigators say a 14-year-old boy was shot in the backside around 6 Monday night at the Kane Park basketball court. One eyewitness says the park was crowded with families and children at the time. The teen victim was treated and released from the hospital. So far, no arrests have been made. The city plans to increase police patrols in the area. A new law went into effect overnight in Ohio aimed at protecting people who live in nursing homes. Esther's law allows families to set up a camera in their room. The bill is named after Steve Pycor's mother. Steve placed a hidden camera in his mother's room at a nursing home and caught abuse on camera. Starting today, if you do want to put a camera in a family member's nursing home, you will need to notify the facility. All new information today, Ohio voting rights groups are filing a new complaint with the Ohio Supreme Court over the state's congressional map plan. The complaint was filed on behalf of the League of Women Voters and the A. Philip Randolph Institute. The redistricting commission is still working to redraw the state Senate and House district maps after failing three times. The commission just added two more people to the map making process, but those federal mediators won't be drawing any maps or breaking any ties. They're there to work as problem solvers. Ahead today, the Board of Education will formally approve a new mascot for Cuyahoga Heights schools. From now on, they'll be the Red Wolves. The district started taking suggestions for new names last year. To replace a logo, many consider it to be a racial slur for Native Americans. The LeBron James Foundation has taken over an Akron business and completely transformed it. You can take a sneak peek tour at the new House 330 on March 30th. There's still some work to be done to the space. Work is also underway to create a LeBron James themed sports bar that will be open to the public. Tonight, Rock and Mortgage Fieldhouse will host the Greater Cleveland Sports Awards. It is an annual fundraiser that supports the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission. It also celebrates a year of athletic achievements in Northeast Ohio, from high school stars to the pros. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. Now for your weather, here's meteorologist Katie McGraw. So today we do have a risk for strong to severe storms. The area in yellow is where there's a greater potential, but we want to be weather aware all across the Power 5 viewing area for some gusty damaging winds. It's going to be windy even outside of any thunderstorms. Potential for some large hail and isolated tornadoes not off the table either. We've already seen one wave of showers move through and getting a brief lull in the activity, which isn't always a good thing, but we're already starting to see some additional showers try to move into the area. We're going to be keeping an eye on this throughout the afternoon and into this evening because the setup really does push for some strong storms and potentially severe as well, especially with this warm front that's going to be lifting to the north. That's going to increase our temperatures, our dew points, which means that there's enough moisture to work with and we certainly have enough wind energy. The big question is going to be if we have enough instability and if everything starts to spin and become strong. It's going to be something that we're watching and posting throughout the day as we have that threat throughout the afternoon and early evening. By tonight, that threat goes down and we're going to be seeing some cooler temperatures as we move into the rest of your seven day forecast, including this weekend. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.